as a member of the faith documenting rabbis, I think the double-edged sword was that I initially was very self-conscious of myself. Okay, I'm gonna now be in a room with 100 rabbis. I'm gonna be obviously gonna stand out with my camera, but also they're gonna be, are they gonna be perceiving me as what kind of Jew am I? Like I don't wear a kippah, a head covering usually, but when I was at the yeshiva, I thought, okay, you know, this is a room where everybody is studying holy text and there are holy books here, I should wear a kippah. And then things would happen like I'd be walking down the street, Fifth Avenue, and one of the rabbis would pass me and I wouldn't have a kippah on. And I thought, ah, oh, now he thinks I'm a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. and, and the surprising thing was that I think I judged myself a lot more harshly than the rabbis did. I mean, they're interacting with Jews of all stripes every day. So I perceived them to be much more sensitive or judgmental than they really were. And I think that's a projection of my own uh, either insecurities or stereotypes about who rabbis are. I worried somewhat similarly to you about, you know, am I going to be able to fit in? Am I, am I going to be judgmental? Am I, you know, what are they, are they going to ask me? Then they did, you know, am I saved and, and uh, questions like that. The people that I became so close to in this process, Rob and Janine and several other people, the level of interaction with them just took us to a whole other level. And a lot of the, the issues around uh, the politics that go with uh, evangelical uh, religion, we found we had all kinds of things in common. And the fact that I am not saved in the same way that they, that they are um, didn't seem to impede our relationship. And that was, I think, actually quite a, a healing thing for me, so. I think it was a good thing that I was sort of within the community and um, was able to document people from my own community. I think partly because you know the Muslim community is there's a lot of exoticism around it and and so forth so we were sort of able to you know cut through that and just really get to the the human story and that's really what I wanted you know to, to concentrate on being able to speak the same language in a sense and and um, and and just being familiar with sort of the you know the, the the superficial aspects of the community we were able to I think get deeper and just everyone was was more comfortable um, communicating I feel like hanging out at a seminary, which is all men, and already I was an outsider being a woman. So it was incredibly helpful to be of the same faith as those guys. The really interesting part about it that I didn't expect was that it was really inspirational for me on a spiritual level, and especially the way that those seminarians have prayer as such a regular part of their daily lives really caused me to think a lot about prayer in my life. and. That was something I didn't necessarily expect. So I just really valued spending time with people of such a deep faith and thinking about the ways in which that faith matched up or in many cases didn't match up with my own. But it was interesting to challenge some of those ideas in myself.